Alright, my bad. My brother was calling me. Man. Look, y'all, we're gonna do a thumbnail with you. We got a lot of food right now. I'm high as fuck right now. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Where is that? Where is that? I still got it. Really? Yes, you wanna act fucking retarded. No, dead ass. You're gonna hurt my heart if you really did. I did. They be like, Vine, you switched on me, ain't shit changed except my bag hey, You ain't come from nothing, you can't tell me shit about not to brag Polo T, two, three of shoes, and I had Truies on my ass This shit was also tough, I used to boil water just to bag OG a hustler, single mother, but she still kept up with us Now it's Cardi's on my face for anybody think they fuck That's not fucking fair. The only fucking cope I have. That's a problem. But y'all, I know y'all be like, whoa, why you start smoking? I don't, man. It's just, I believe in my mama, man. I just need to cope a little bit. But I got some Chipotle. I've been on Chipotle bad, y'all. I've been on Chipotle bad. And my lovely fiance got. Oh. This is what I be off, man. So show them what you got. So let's do a thumbnail first, baby. Do a thumbnail first. Don't take a bite. Don't take a bite. And y'all, one thing y'all don't know about that is they oven was down and they said they couldn't make the Beyond Chicken. So she said, she wanted it so bad that she. Ooh, that means salty. She, she wanted it so bad that she got the actual chicken, y'all. Like, no joke. Really y'all, I'm really thinking about, like, not necessarily meat, y'all. I guess. I don't know. Come on, do a thumbnail real quick. That ain't a fucking thumbnail. Okay. Come on, get the food in there. Stop and get the fucking food in there. I don't want to do that. You're going to look crazy <laughs> like that when I do the thumbnail. <laughs> Y'all see my teeth? <laughs> All right, cool. And what I'm finna do probably gonna piss y'all off, but I don't care. That's how I like to eat it. I don't wanna try it. You're not trying my shit. So what I'm about to do basically is I'm finna, I'm gonna flip it over so that oh we getting a little land spill. Hold on, she made this bitch hefty. Javon, look. You know we got the lid on over here. <sighs> Luckily, I'm detailing my car, y'all. What the fuck? I'm about to flip this over. I got to make sure it's on all the way first before I make a mess. But it's already making a mess. Y'all, she went crazy. That spinach is so good, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to take about a her shit. That's actual meat that she eating. I don't know if I'm feeling like that today. I ain't really feeling like that today. I don't think I can flip that motherfucker. Not today. Damn, that motherfucker. They got that motherfucker hefty. Yeah, I only live once. And I feel like I've had it without the impossible meat in it. And oh my God, it's, it don't hit. Oh my God, y'all. It see? don't hit, so the impossible meat is better than the regular meat? No, I haven't. I actually haven't been eating the meat, y'all. I've been kind of just sliding it over. Um, but. Don't flip it. Too late. It's flipped. Yeah, real meat is really salty. They did too much with it. And look at it, you can see the salt on it. Oh wow. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. You should put that under that. Huh? Just for stability, you should put that in there. 
Girl, your fat ass wanna lick the bowl. Mm -hmm. You actually mean it? Answer, you actually think I'm fat? Okay, buddy. Hmm? Where's the drink you said you got, man? Right up over here. Yo, I've been just eating, y'all. We don't even got no topic or nothing. I'm going to edit it backwards. I've been pushing the meat over there. Shit, I'm a real man. So you didn't even get the opener. What opener? This isn't a twist. How am I supposed to open my drink then? Mm -hmm. How did you open it last time? I'm checking through some motherfuckers. Oh, it is. It might be a twist. That was some. Y'all see how much she complained? But look, we got the hot sauce. Y'all know y'all seen. Y'all seen my whole order. Y'all seen what I got. I recorded the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I feel like he wanted this. And I'm trying to, uh, y'all, I'm trying to vinaigrette. Because he's had this before. I've never had this before. So I low-key think that he wanted this, but he was trying to act like it was for me. No, the reason why I got it for her is because she didn't get to try it last time. But I got a bowl and I got a tortilla on the side to make a burrito, too. So. Mm. Just watch that so you don't knock it over. What is this? Mm. Hamburger? It's sofritas. It's tofu. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Man, I Wait, do you got to be 21 to vape, too? Yes. Mom should let you say shit there. Damn, damn, I'll share. I'm gonna try everything. Why is it my food? That so free dust tastes like the stuff that you made earlier. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know me eat this, but we're gonna talk today about um I guess we can talk today about taking risk, I guess. You know what I'm saying how um uh, taking risk could get you, you know what I'm saying, set you up. You feel me? See me personally. I normally don't really smoke drink. I do too much of that, but you know. I've been, you know, testing it. Like, I was drinking a little bit. Not that many people really knew, but... Right now, I'm mixing the uh, sour cream with the... Uh, the sauce, sir. With that uh, vinaigrette that Keith Lee... I tried it last time. Roll the clip. Who knows that? Off rip. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Mm-mm. I don't know how Keith Lee made that sugar bar. That's disgusting. It's sweet. Uh -uh, I'm not a fan of that. I didn't like it. We're going to give it another try, though. What's that? I'm talking about life about taking risks. I don't want to eat just a mushroom. What's what you just going to eat today? Here. That's tomato mushroom. All right, just the vinaigrette. Last time somebody told me to mix it with sour cream. Okay, it looks like the consistency is supposed to be now. Let's try. I've only tried like the small pieces of chicken, but look at that piece, y'all. When I try real meat, it gives me gratitude that the fake meat can't be real meat because they don't taste nothing alike. Yeah. They just taste similar. And look. Okay, let's try it again. See if I like it this time. But it's the salty taste of the the meats that make it better. Like the impossible meat has like a cheesy salty taste to it. Yeah. That's what it was missing. Sour cream, it ain't good by itself. Mm-hmm. It ain't good by itself. I'm probably just going to throw some of that hot sauce in here, too. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but what's a risk you took that kind of set you for success? Mm. 
life in general. I've done so many things that's been so risky that could either go really bad or really good. Mm. I like want to say, 50 -50. huh? Like a 50 50 shot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the risk is worse. Sorry, we dropped y'all. Well, I dropped y'all. Yeah. One of the biggest risks I've ever taken in my life was why is the camera just on you? It ain't. You feel like it is. Yeah. No. I would have to be is running away from my foster home. That was such a big, big risk. Turned yeah. out it's really what put me where I am today. So you don't regret it at all? Uh uh. Not even a little bit. Let me see what you're talking about. You was biting off my food. It was tearing my food to shreds. This chicken actually good. And me personally, I'm going to eat it. She don't. Uh -huh. It's a nice little bite. Yeah, I keep like taking a bite of the chicken, like a little bite, and then pushing it to the side. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm supposed to be on a diet. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I, don't know what the... I just need to lock in, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I'm supposed to be dieting, but I don't know. I'm going to lock in, y'all. Trust me, y'all going to see my body transform. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't know. Going through a phase, I guess, an eating phase. Hopefully, I don't get trapped, but I don't think I will. I, I bought a weight set, the guarantee that I work out. <clears throat> yeah. Like a, like a uh, dumbbell. My goal is to get on the road before it gets dark, dark out, which we probably will be, but. And I can tell that they don't put as much as the meat in here as they do the impossible chicken. Yeah, because they probably don't get ordered as much, so when they bake it, they just give it all to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, a big risk I took, y'all. I say that one of the biggest risks I took in my entire life that made me successful was start my clothing brand. I ain't gonna lie. I went broke for my clothing brand. Like, I had to borrow some money from my uh, fiance for my clothing brand. Because I just knew, I told her, and she trusted me that I told her. It's, it's gonna sell. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to get you your money back ASAP. Y'all. It went, I did so great, y'all. My first drop was so good. Like, I, I only have <clears throat> like two or three left. I, I'm sold out. I'm already restocking already. Yeah. And the reason he didn't sell out of those sizes is because they're the large, the extra large. Yeah. And. And Most I don't know nobody that's that big, for real, for real. Uh, not to be weird. Well, Damn, what the fuck is a guacamole party in this motherfucker? Y'all, I'm talking like this is my clothing brand, but... <clears throat> she be tapped in, yo. She know. Bro, I can't even eat this shit, bro. This shit gotta go to the dog, bro. Hmm. Like, this shit is just like... All you see is green. Guacamole, guacamole. Like, why she put so much? This shit is inedible. They just need me spit this out. <sighs> I tried to take it by you, but I didn't like the texture. Look at it. That chicken? No, I can't eat this, y'all. I, I, I hate the, to be I'm wasteful, full. but... I'm full. Yeah, I can't eat this shit. This shit going to my dog, y'all. Do y'all see how much guacamole is in here? It's literally green. Like, y'all see the whole fucking bowl is green. Like, and you not seeing lettuce. That's guac. That is literally little chunks of guacamole. You guys are messing out. That shit nasty, dog. I like guacamole, but I don't want a guac a, a bowl with a side of guacamole. I'm gonna try the dessert. Okay. Y'all, I'm detailing my car in the morning. Y'all, I'm getting up as soon as the sun comes out, and I'm. Y'all, this is gonna be a great year. Y'all, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. Y'all see, I'm wearing my natural hair, all just in its own state. Y'all, I got a crop top on and shorts. We're showing a lot of skin today, and it's a little... And the crop top goes to my belly button, if that's saying anything to anybody. Uh, I'll be telling you, let her little inner thought shine. Let your little inner thought shine. You ain't never got a chance to be a hoe. 
You feel me? Ain't no wrong with being on home. Man, this shit about to go in the garbage, I ain't <laughs> ah! Always bust all open on you. No. Y'all, he literally acts fucking retarded I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Please edit that out. Mm-mm. I ain't editing that out. Y'all see how mean she be to me? That's how mean she be to me, y'all. Okay, y'all, we're already 15 minutes in. Can I get that? You got a whole tortilla and didn't even use it? Because that shit wasn't even worth Can using, buddy. That? I don't got another fork for it. No, don't use your hand. I mean, I'm going to grab this fork out of here. Mm -mm. Use this fork, then. Okay, you use that fork for you. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this, y'all. Cinnamon rolls is like one of me and Javon's like go-to little treats together. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm gonna edit so much of this shit out. I gotta get you some frosting. Even no frosting. Uh huh. I need to get the frosting. I didn't order a frosting. Can I get my own bite? I'm a grown man. Back there. What you mean? Mm. Mm. Y'all, wouldn't it make sense to just do it just like this so I can just grab it? Why let the fork do this? It's gonna fall. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get a grown man bite. Get all the way in there, scoop it up. Mm. Oh my gosh, I might spin the block. No, we got some rolls at home I can do this with. Mm. That's fire. Let me get some of this lemonade. Just water down lemonade. Y'all want me to be honest? Sometimes I wish I was that messy type of person. Why? Uh huh. The things that. Mm. Me, I never let my intrusive thoughts win. Very rarely. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, if Koi let her intrusive thoughts win. Too, Yo, for all y'all out there that's ever been bullied, I ain't gonna lie. Growing up, I did a lot of bullying. So, elementary, middle school, part of middle school, I say the, last, the first two years of middle school, I was getting bullied. I mean, I was bullying people like crazy, right? But from my freshman year to my sophomore year, I mean, from all the way up to my sophomore year, since in my eighth grade year, I swear, to, I kid y'all not, I got bullied. Like, literally, bro. Like, because me and my twin was jumping people and being so, such little demons and heathens, bro, people will bully us, bro. Literally, like, all of the older kids, they will bully us because we bully. Yeah, I'm going to eat it. They'll bully us because we bully other people, so... I got used to getting bullied. Like, yeah, I was a bully, but I got out of that mindset after I got bullied. Like, damn, I see what y'all used to be, feel. So, people think that people being bullied is like traumatizing, bro. If somebody try to talk shit to me or if somebody try to overplay their part or do something to me that I don't like, my intrusive thoughts take over every time and I will never let nobody of any caliber whether it's my best friend, my my, my 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 closest friend, to my brothers or my sisters or my aunties or my uncles. I don't care who you is. If you got something negative to say to me and you say it to my face, you're going to hear it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick up for myself. I'm going to. I refuse to not stick up for myself. I guess that's the bottom line, though. It ain't me being tough or me thinking I'm this or me thinking I'm that. It's more so like expect if you say something off the wall to me to have something off the wall said right back. Because people can't handle the truth. And I don't fight. And that's why a lot of people, I'm too not a lot of people, not a lot of people, but people think to fight me for that reason. Like think just because, I swear I done heard, oh, a person that talk crazy to me. I would retaliate and I'm the one that want to fight because I'm returning the energy. See, the thing is, when people don't expect you to retaliate, then they get to backing down a little bit like, Oh, you must want to fight. That's really them being uh protective, or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you think I want to fight because you was talking stuff and not retaliated? Like no, I don't want to fight. I just want you to understand you can't disrespect me. Uh, what... Like she don't like fighting. She didn't grow up in a hostile neighborhood like me. So I grew up watching people get fight, 
fight, watch people get popped, watching people get cut, all type of stuff. Yeah, I'll be telling her that, like, if she got problems with somebody, just let me deal with it because I don't want nobody having no beef with her because she ain't grow up in fights. She ain't, she ain't never really fought nobody. You, know? you talk about me never being in the camera. She don't really know how to fight. No, like if you, like sometimes I don't even peep something and you like this, this and that. Oh, types. Oh, type. Because look, she not from, like, I'm not from the hood. I'm an east side baby, but the hood is the hood. But you know what I'm saying? She's not from the streets, I guess you can call it. I'm from the streets. Like, I'm not a street dude, but I grew up seeing, I done seen robberies, I done seen drug deals, I done seen, I've been in a raid, I done had an AK-47 to my head. Um, I done seen the most as a child. If y'all want a story time on that, let me know. I'll give a story time. I done been in raids, I done been in everything that you can think of when it comes to street. Um, bad environments, everything. Okay, you don't gotta say all that. Just... You know what I'm saying? So, But she, she don't know what that's like. So she don't know what it's like to have to, for instance, for somebody to, for, let's like, for instance, if I say, like, you a bitch, let's say I'm playing basketball with somebody, right, and the bitch word come out, you know what I'm saying, we try to talk about it and forth, but I eventually say, you a bitch, we not talking basketball no more, we, we talking fighting now, she wouldn't understand what she could or couldn't say to trigger somebody off, like, she, let's just say, for instance, somebody step on her toe, and she be like, dang, you ain't see my foot? She not from a she not from a hood where she know what's gonna happen after she just talked to somebody like that. She's more so like I'm just trying to stick up for myself. Sorry, y'all. Uh, you know I'm just trying to stick up for myself. Nah, you know what I'm saying? She, she, you know she don't know that what's gonna come after. You know what I'm saying? People. And like you know how people be like your awareness. I don't. I'm not very aware of like certain things, and it's not because I'm not an aware person. I'm a very aware person. Mm -hmm. But it's like what's words that's going to trigger somebody to fight me like i'm not aware of words like that i'm not aware of, of words that's going to make somebody upset or none of that just simply because i don't get into issues like that so i don't have to be aware i'm right. very aware of my surroundings and it's even got way better being with him right. you know I mean, you see what it is y'all hear me say it in my music they lost their class females lost their class this new generation have no class like People call it respect. No, they have respect. They're not just, you know what I'm saying, crunching on any and everybody. You know, they picking and choosing. It ain't respect. They respect themselves. They make sure they are clean. You know what I'm saying? It's just a new age. What they lost is class, bro. For instance, like Monica, Fantasia back in the day, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't just giving up booty first day. Or even if they was, they, you know what I'm saying? They went on a nice, expensive, luxury date first. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, so they body on social media. Now you can just, for instance, I just seen a post. It said... Why don't men, um, why don't men, like, be so curious or so excited to find out about the body, female body or whatever, and they said, because the link is in the bio, you know what I'm saying, well, you know what I'm saying, we could pay $5, $10 to see your whole body, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that sacred body plate, that don't exist no more for these, now these children all day. Fair. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, if you got up OnlyFans, or if you show your body, or if you twerk, if you twerk, if you show your body, if you show your print, if you, especially if you like fucking or sucking, you look, you're not, you're not showing respect because what you're showing is, you know what I'm saying, once something on the internet is never off, what you're showing your daughter or your son is that it's okay to just do that bullshit. Yeah. And it's not, bro. It's really not. Like, people have normalized it. It's normal now, but it's really not at the end of the day. Like, it's prostitution. People just don't admit it. Like, if you got a link in your bio, you prostitute. I don't care what you say. Mm -hmm. I, I done heard a person tell me I'll fuck on camera But I won't fuck on OnlyFans So you'll post it on Facebook Just for people to see it And want to fuck, and more people want to fuck you Rather than make a career out of it And get paid and get rich from it Weird, it's a bit That's why you don't really see us with, Collabing with too many people Being around people Or more importantly You've never seen really a female on this channel Period Other than my fiance and any other female you probably would see on this channel would be like my sisters or my cousin Anna. I mean, we just on this bitch chatting. I ain't gonna cap. We didn't even speak on the topic we had. Because the topic was booty. I came up with the topic, y'all. It was boring. Koi just got the yap, and I'm like. <laughs> Don't fuck with us, cause it'll get dangerous. 